my name is Kate Schroeder for those of you who don't know me and I am the CEO and owner of the high performance based coaching program called the right type which is all about using personality type to um, grow and scale our businesses and I'm really really excited to come on here today because I'm going to talk with you a little bit about how personality type has the ability to um, impact how well you're able to leverage your leadership presence and what that you know what in the world that has to do with growing a personal brand you know we often think about business as um, kind of the bottom line right we we have services we have products that we're trying to sell and the bottom line is really about how do we get those out to the public how do we um, market them in ways that um, will draw people in and, and create and generate interest and one of the things that is so absolutely essential and important to know is that leveraging your presence right so when we think about brand brand is about um, your own personal stamp your own personal footprint in the world whether it's around a service it's around a business a uh, product you know what you bring to the table how you can serve others with this um, and so it really all starts with you and and so leveraging your leadership as an executive as a management and growing that own personal brand is is probably one of the most if not the most important skills of all successful business leaders and entrepreneurs even those folks in service-based industries and I want to tell you why you know everything we do everything we do in business everything we do in our relationships everything we do each and every moment of the day is an extension of your energy so the energy that you put out you know one of my most favorite uh, things I love to go back to and remember is that at the core of who each one of us is we're just a bunch of little molecules energetic molecules bouncing off each other quickly enough to form mass and matter and, and, and muscles and tissues and so on but at the core of everything we are is energy so your brand is what I like to consider the uh, outside world extension of the composition of who you are as a person the, your energetic experience your essence and so forth so if as a leader as a business you're cut off from your own energy and your own awareness of who you are and um, how you tick and what makes you come alive in the world what you're good at and what you're not there's absolutely no way you're going to be able to communicate to others through your brand in any sort of meaningful uh, effective or succinct kind of way you know it's it's people feel that right so it's certainly um, true that to the extent that you're cut off from knowing who you are and your own personal messaging there's no way you're going to be able to get clear in your business and to both uh, leverage your presence internally so with your team and your people and your projects and your tasks as well as externally to customers you know growing that brand and so on you know one of the most critical tasks of leadership is to build that executive reputation or or brand and what that does is it builds power internally and it also helps you market yourself and your business products externally as well you know so knowing who you are you know I, I've said this a lot and it goes back uh, I believe this strongly goes back to the idea that the more you know about who you are internally the way you operate your strengths um, you know the areas inside of you where you thrive as well as the other side right the shadow side right because here's the thing we can only move forward in our life as far as we're willing to look back so we have to explore that other stuff too we have to understand kind of um, what our pain points are and how we respond to those pain points how we um, cope with them or live them because if we're not aware of both pieces right so if we're not aware of uh, both the places inside where uh, we find our flow and we're we're grooving and we're really moving forward as well as the darker parts inside of us the stuff that most of us don't want to spend too much time looking at you know our insecurities and where we get stuck or maybe we're unclear 
then you're not going to be able to move forward and your business is an extension of you. So where you're lost or confused or unclear, it's going to uh, play out in your business endeavors. And you know, there's a couple of ways usually people tend to respond to that. One is um, some people when they're lost or unclear or uncertain, they sort of what I call kind of uh, come above it all right and get more cerebral and intellectual and kind of push 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 until they hammer something out <clears throat> but there is another way to live it so when a person can really connect back and work with those sort of stuck places or unclear places then what happens as you learn from those and you learn to integrate those and decode what's happening you also begin to show up in your business show up uh, in your teams and show up to your customers in a more embodied heartfelt kind of way and customers love that you know think about a time where you've been uh, looking to purchase something whether it was a service or a product and you know, if you're like many people um, you get maybe a couple of different estimates from different businesses right and depending on who you are and how you're wired each one of us has an internal set of criteria by which we make our decisions about which way to go and so for those um, people who have the experience of um, connecting with a salesperson or a business that really seems to energetically appeal to them, chances are they're going to go with them. And a perfect example of this was when I was buying a car a couple of years ago and I knew what car I wanted. I was very clear on that. And I, I did my due diligence. I went to several different car dealerships, all the same uh, kind of car, and I got estimates and I met salespeople. And what I did was when I went back home, I sat with my experiences and I knew I was going to buy a car. I mean, it was the end of the year. I needed a new car. It was just a matter of where did I want to buy my car. And as, as an INFJ for me, you know, one of my big criteria is when I'm working with someone is what is what does the energy feel like, right? Does it feel, um, do they feel like they care about me as a person or am I just a transaction, a sale? And this is just for a car, but that's what's important to me. So after I sat with it, it became pretty clear to me which direction I wanted to go. And I contacted that salesperson back up and made the transaction and they got my business. And that happened because, you know, whether they were aware of it or not, I was picking up on their energy of who they were as a person, um, how they conducted themselves in terms of their sales, um, how they represented that, how they took me into the equation. All of those things made a huge difference for me in making my decision about where I wanted to purchase my new car. And so that's what happens, you know, when we think about our customers and how they make decisions, purchasing decisions, it's based on how they feel towards the company. So if as a leader, you are very cut off from who you are and, and the vibes you're putting out, whether it's to your customers, to your teams, the culture that you're creating in, in your environment, and they're even with remote teams, there is still a culture to the business. You know, if, if you don't have awareness of that, um, awareness of how you are impacting, impacting other people, then you're missing out on a lot of really, really valuable market research data, right? We often think about market research as being, you know, kind of pulling our customers and audiences to get a sense of what they want and need. But, you know, market research starts right in here. You know, um, if we don't know who you are and you don't know how you tick, it's going to be really difficult to to move anywhere in an embodied kind of way, genuine, authentic kind of way. You know, for example, intuitive thinkers, they are incredible. They're just excellent at creating visions, highlighting strategies, um, uh, getting uh, establishing plans, taking charge to make it all happen, especially intuitive thinkers who have a judging preference as well. And different types of personalities, different types have different strengths when it comes to leveraging themselves and building a sort of uh, personal brand. And so it's really, really helpful to know what your own personal brand is, where you excel, where you struggle in order to bring in the right kind of support for what you're trying to achieve. Without doing that, you're going to waste a whole lot of time and resources, you know, by knowing who you are, knowing how you take, knowing what your personal brand is, which is, you know, the most powerful way we can do that is by exploring personality type, because here's the really cool part. 
with each different personality type, each different Myers-Briggs personality type, there comes a whole set of traits and values and characteristics that, um, that are unique to that particular type. You know, and one thing I want to say real quickly about personality type is this is not about pigeonholing. This is not about putting people in boxes. If that's been your experience when it's come to type, then I'm, 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 I'm sorry that that's happened for you because what that tells me is that you probably didn't get the kind of support you needed around learning about your personality type and what it means and how to apply. To me, personality type is a jumping off place to really be getting to know that deeper place inside of you. And when we do that, when we can kind of, it's like coming up with your own personal manual for how you work, how you lead, what your personal brand is. I mean, even as far as, you know, we talk about languaging and keywords, my goodness, it's all there in your type. Well, what that does is it saves time, it saves money, it saves energy, it saves a ton of resources in terms of how you market yourselves, how you lead, um, you know, what your strengths are in terms of relating to customers and not, and really folks, isn't that what it's all about? Isn't leveraging who you are to grow uh, your executive presence and brand in the least um, uh, amount of time, the least amount of resource? I mean, isn't that really what it's all about? Kind of having that um, advantage over your competitors when you can say exactly who you are and, and what you need. So, you know, personality type is one tool. It is not the only tool. It is one tool that is a powerful way to leverage your presence, both as an executive, both as a leader in your business, and also grow that personal brand. And it all starts with you. It all starts at the top. If you don't know who you are and what uh, vibe you are putting out, it, you know, it is, you're going to have a hard time being clear and, and communicating that through your business. So those are my thoughts. As always, I would love to hear your comments, your reactions, so please drop them in the boxes below and let's get a dialogue going about this. Um, you know, maybe you've had experiences where this has felt true or maybe there's things you disagree at. Let's get the, let's get the conversation started. Um, Thanks for being here today and I'll look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye for now.